Okay, this is uh, Math 7, Chapter 12, last part of the, uh, of the chapter and maybe of the year, depending on what order you're doing it. But anyways, let's get to this. The best method of central tendency and how to choose it. Now, this one's the trickiest part of all five of them because you actually have to think. It's not just given to you. There's no right answer, even though there is a right answer. It's got to be like... And I know that sounds terrible, but it, there's a right answer, but it's not always this. Anyways, you'll see as we get into this. So the measure of central tendency is the value that represents the center of the set of data. It can be the mean, median, or mode. It's not always the median. Even though median is the middle, it doesn't mean that that's the central part of it. So you got to think looser. So here's an example. Amir and Melody's weekly quiz scores were four, five, eight, nine, and nine. So what measures of central tendency best describe the data? So what's the median? The median is eight. So that's the, is eight. The mode is nine. And the mean, if we add it all up, uh, nine, 18, 27, 35 divided by, so 35 divided by 7, or sorry, 5 equals 7. So the mean is that, the mode is 9, and the median is 8. Okay, now if we go back to, and we think about this, since the mode represents the highest score, it's not really the best representation of the five scores, okay? It's not, you don't want to say they're, a nine best re represents all five quizzes because it's the highest score and it really doesn't. But if you said seven or eight, that would be a good representation of that data because that's kind of about where they got every time. So it's not really the average. It's not really the mid. It is the middle, but it's like you're kind of finding it right in here. So that's the central of this data. Okay, I, I told you it's a little bit loosey-goosey and a little bit, it's not, math people hate this because they like the numbers and they like two plus two equals four, but that's not always the case, right? So, uh, students have taken a vote for the new official colors for the sports uniforms, the number of votes for each color is shown, which measure of sender and tendencies would you use to decide the winning color? So, if you... If you're going to look at all of this and the data connected is involved in the frequency of color choices, the most popular choice wins. The median, uh, one, four, five, six, seven, and 10. So if we chose the median, that would be 5.5. So we would kind of have to blend these two colors together. So the median doesn't make a lot of sense, especially when because five people voted for it, that's what the number we're, we're choosing. The mean doesn't mean anything either because if you, if you average the numbers out, it, it doesn't matter. So the mode is the, the number, so purple, remember how we do this, this is purple, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So purple was chosen the most amount of times. So the mode would be the best use choice to find out, um, which, center, which cent measure of central tendency would you use to decide? We would use the, the mode because it represents the most, the, the choice that was chosen most often, okay? So you guys can probably do this and work through the next question as well, but it's explained. So the median of Sugi paid the following amounts for the last six pairs of jeans before tax. So 44, uh, We'll, we'll just, we'll put 38 here and we'll cross this out and put 50 here. And so the median, now we can figure out the median one, two. So the median would be 45. Okay. The mean, we've got to add them all up. So 38 plus 44 plus 45 plus 49 plus 50 plus 125 equals 351. Did I do this wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so the, 
the median is not that, it's 45 plus 49 divided by two, right? So the av or the median is actually 47, sorry. 47 and the mean is this divided by six. So the mean is 58.5, which is weird because she didn't really pay 58 bucks for any of these pair of jeans, right? It was either 50 or below or $125. So <clears throat> the median and the mean are right there. The median, the mean. So we've got those two figured out. Which measure of central tendency best describes these data? Um, 125 changes everything, right? Because 125 is such an outlier, it changed all the it changed the mean so much. So we can't use the mean any any uh, it, it's altered too much. So it changes it that much more. The median, if we go back, the median would have been 45. <clears throat> excuse me, where the median is now 47. So it doesn't really change it that much, which means the median is the better measure of central tendencies for these. So again, it, it depends on what the question's asking and it depends on what you want to, what, what each value spits out, but you guys need to determine that and think critically for these questions. Okay, the questions, pages 450, 451, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, not 6, 4, 7, 8, 10, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10. Remember to check your answers because it's a really tricky part. And then when you're done, if you're ready, write the test. Thanks, guys. Good luck.